Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video on the Casual Racing Game Mode. Today, we are going to be hopping into Automobilista 2 on um, PCVR Quest 3. And then we're going to also hop into GT7 on PSVR 2. I'm going to tell you the differences, what I like about one, maybe not like about the other. Is one a lot better than the other? I figured we're going to hop into Automobilista 2, which I think is one of the best looking VR sim racing games. And, you know, GT7, PSVR 2, it's the only racing game on PlayStation 5. And, you know, it only has one choice of a headset for that. And um, I've been playing it for months now and I really enjoy it. So I want to give you a comparison. I've only tried my Quest 3 with iRacing. So this was the first time I actually tried it with um, Automobilista 2. And our settings that we're going to be using for the Quest 3, I'll share my video up above. If you want to check that out, those are the settings that I'm using in this video. Also, know if you see any little stuttering or anything like that, with um, Automobilista, it is because I am recording and, and playing at the same time. So it does lose, it does use a lot of power and will cause that without recording, it does run smoother. Um, so, I, you know, it felt much better without me recording while trying to play at the same time. But, um, you know, PSVR 2, you don't have to worry about that stuff. So it's smooth. Also with PSVR 2, the, 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 the footage might look a little more smoother because it's kind of built in when you record. Um, PSVR 2 footage, it's already kind of stabilized a little bit as opposed to Automobilista, there's no stabilization in there. I didn't run any post um, stabilization either. So it might be a, look a little more shaky and that's why. It's not because the actual game's more shaky. Now, I'll talk about the game itself a little bit after, but we went to Brands Hatch in both games, both racing um, GT, GT3 cars and uh, both Porsches and, um, you know, wanted to go for, for a similar type of, of looking car. Um, obviously cars are going to drive differently. It's not the same exact Porsche. So we hopped into it. I put on my Quest 3 Automobilista 2 and obviously I was blown away with, with when I first put it on and everything is super clear. It's super crisp. The The clarity on this thing is, is unbelievable and Automobilista 2 really delivers um, that really good VR quality and it's really optimized for VR and plays really well at high settings um, to go along with it. Now, um, Everything around you, everything around me was super clear. Everything was very, um, there was no blurriness. So when I was riding by a building on my right side, that building the whole time, if I move my eyes or something or just look to the side, it's all clear. Everything in the distance, you can see um, things in the distance really well. And things in the distance are also clear. They're not blurry. They're not, they're not like fogged out or anything. They're actually really sharp, real, really easy to make out detail on things close and far. Um, so, so the clarity from, from, and you know, I don't know if it's because of the lenses that make everything clear all around, but you know, obviously if I look to the side, it's still clear. So I'm not really worried about the lenses looking my eyes, but if I do look around with my eyes, um, just like that, everything does look clear, but I, I, I didn't see any blurriness anywhere, no matter what I did. So, you know, and we'll talk about PSVR two And as far as blurriness is concerned. So that, that was, that was my initial impression of, of Automobilista two on quest three and when I hopped into PSVR 2 on, in GT7, I was kind of worried that, that the headset was just not going to, I was going to fall out of love with the headset. I've been playing GT7 on PSVR 2 for a while now, and, you know, I always enjoy it, but I felt like hopping in after seeing Automobilista 2 look so good on the Quest 3, am, am I going to be, am, am I going to, am I going to really not want to play it as much and also know with your PSVR 2 and you put that on, the sweet spot's really small. You really have to make sure you have that headset in the right spot or it's not gonna look clear. So you have to really play around with it. Small sweet spot, Quest 3, huge sweet spot. Whole, the whole lens is, is, is sweet. So once you have it on, you have it clear, right? You, you have it in the sweet spot and I put it on, I started racing and I was like, okay, you know what? It's not as sharp. There's a lot of blurriness actually. Um, things on this side, if I look at the building, I'm um, at the starting line. All that stuff is not clear. There's, there's definitely a blurriness to it. Things in the distance, not clear. The cars, not as sharp, not as clear. It's, well, I, I, they, they're clear. They're not as sharp, right? They're still clear. I think it's just because of the OLED and, and the filter and the dirty screen, which the dirty screen you get past really fast. You get over it, you get over it. It's not a big deal. So everything wasn't as clear. Everything wasn't as crisp. But as soon as I started playing, I was like, the headset still looks great. I didn't feel like I was downgrading when I went to GT7 and put that headset on. I actually felt like, wow, this is also a great experience. The game looks good. The game plays fantastic. There's no slowdown. There's no drop frames. There's there's nothing bad about the game. Um, it does run 60 frames per second. They reproject it to 120 hertz. So 
you know, would the game look better if, if they ran a native 90 hertz or 120 hertz? I think it probably would look sharper, look clearer if they can possibly pull it off. Um, unfortunately, they haven't given us any VR updates since the release, which I'm kind of upset about. But if they were able to pull that off, I think things might actually be a little more sharper. Um, I think I think the reprojection might might add a little bit to the blurriness. But having said all that, the game still felt great. Like I loved it. I did not feel like I was downgrading. I felt like it. Quest 3 is not going to pull me away from PSVR 2 and GT7 because I do love the game. And the headset, it just looked good. I put it on and like I, I didn't feel like, oh my God, I, I can't use this anymore. I need to go back to my Quest 3. I actually felt like, yeah, you know, if I didn't have the Quest 3, I, I would still be totally happy with PSVR 2 and GT7. I wouldn't feel like I'm missing anything. The game is just so good in VR and it just looks so good and it's so clear. And while I hate the OLED screen because of the dirty screen effect, I do love the colors that it actually offers and the contrast. So so it kind of gives a whole different feeling when you're in that headset that, that's different than than Automobile the 2 on the Quest 3. So, you know, as the OLED to me is also a negative, there's also a very good positive to it. And just the whole color and the whole vibe just feels, there's like a really happy feeling. It just felt really good. The game, super smooth. Um, so for anyone who has PSVR 2 and GT7, um, I, I would not say you have to run out and get a Quest 3 just, just for sim racing because you, you need a better VR headset. Unless there's an actual game on PC that you prefer to play, that would be one thing. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it just for the VR headset itself thinking you're going to get a better VR experience because I, I don't feel like I'm losing anything by going to PSVR 2. Um, everything just felt great. The game itself, obviously, Automobile is too hard a game to drive. You definitely have to be a little more, you definitely have to be a little more babying of the brakes. You definitely have to be better at trail braking. You, you have to make sure you actually re release the brake. I find a lot before you're in a turn. If you're still braking while you're in a turn, you're going to lose the car. GT7, a lot more forgiving. Um, you can brake harder without losing the car. You can still hold on to that brake as you're coming in a turn and not lose the car. And GT in, in, in Automobile the two, you kind of really have to make sure you're off the brake at the right time and the car is just kind of turning already and, and you can control the car. Um, also shifting um, between the two games. Um, again, GT7, very forgiving with shifting. Automobile the two, not as forgiving when, when you're doing shifting and stuff like that with how the car controls. So, you know, there's definitely differences between the games. So if you're looking for different type of games, but that's the game. This is more about the VR headset. So if you have a PS VR 2 headset and GT7, you know, I would say you're not missing anything. If you have a Quest 3 and you're running PC VR, you have a great headset. You're not missing anything. Um, the thing is, what game do you want to play? I think GT7 is one of the most funnest VR racing games. Um, that's just my opinion. But I also love, you know, Automobile 2 is a great game, but I love online gameplay and I do love iRacing. But, um, you know, GT7 has, has, has got me hooked right now. But I, I am going to be doing some other games, of course, as well. Now they got the Quest 3. So, um, you know, let me know your opinion. If you guys, if you have them both, if, um, let me know if you've, well, you know, just let me know. Just let me leave comments down below. Everyone reads comments. It's really helpful to everybody. But those are just my opinion. And I'm sure other people have different opinions. So if you guys can thumb up the video, that'd be super awesome. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and we'll catch you on the next one. We out of here. Peace.